What is up guys? This is Bullshot, back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So in today's video, I am gonna be covering the top 5 best guns to use inside of the Battle Royale, after the release of this new Season 4 update. Now, just like the videos from the previous seasons, I am gonna be making this list, based on only those weapons, that are available as ground loots in the Battle Royale maps. Also, this top 5 list will be featuring only the automatic weapons, such as the assault rifles, the submachine guns, and the light machine guns. I am not going to be placing any shotguns or sniper rifles in this list. But you don't need to be worried, because after discussing the number 1 weapon, I am going to be sharing some of my insane shotguns and sniper builds, which are going to be highly optimized for this season's battle royale. All of these 5 segments will be featuring some sort of gameplay examples, and I am going to discuss the best mods to use with each of these weapons. So be sure to watch the entire video without skipping any moment, as this will be extremely vital for your gameplay experiences. Also, if this is your first time here in my channel, then make sure to press the subscribe button and make yourself a part of the Bullshot community. And most importantly, don't forget to turn on post notifications so you never miss any upcoming update on my channel. You can also follow me on the Instagram and join my Discord server for exclusive tips and more awesome contents. Links will be provided in the description. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Starting at number 5 spot, we have two assault rifles at the same place. One of them is the Kilo 141, and another one is the M13. The primary damage range for both of these weapons have received some significant amount of nerf, and because of this reason, the ground variants of these assault rifles have become extremely harder to use. First, I want to talk about the Kilo, which in my opinion, is not one of the greatest option in the current season. It has received a huge nerf on the damage range, and on top of that, the headshot damage multiplier has also been reduced, making this assault rifle, especially the ground variant, extremely harder to use. But these issues can be solved with the custom variants, and you can once again make Kilo viable inside of the Battle Royale. On the other hand, the primary damage range of the M13 has been reduced, which has made the weapon super hard to use in long-range battles. But for close to mid-range, this assault rifle can still be usable if you are good with the recoil management. Now the reason I have placed these two high-tier assault rifles at the bottom of my list is because they are not the best right now, but can still be used with the enhancements. Here are the best custom gunsmith loadouts for these assault rifles, which are perfectly optimized for mid to long range engagements. The first two builds are based on the mythic variant, and the rest of the two builds are created for my free to play audiences. And for the mods with this two assault rifles, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the precise shot mods, and the vertical recoil control mods to get the most effective results possible. Now, coming at number 4 spot, we have the Fennec. This is the second fastest killing close range weapon inside of the Battle Royale. Except the magazine capacity, it is slightly better optimized for up close engagements and a little bit slower than the MAC-10. The hip fire accuracy of this weapon is extremely accurate. But there also are some acceptable downsides which come along with this weapon. The damage range and the amount of damage per bullet. And this is the reason I suggest you to use this weapon only for close range engagements. Here is the best custom gunsmith loadout of the Fennec, which literally shreds people in close quarter battles. With this custom variant of this weapon, I have improved the overall damage range and cranked up the hip fire accuracy to the maximum level. The extra ammunition capacity with the extended magazine will be extremely helpful inside of the battle royale. 
Anyways, for the mods with this one, I am recommending you to use the hipfire boost mods, the long range mods, and most importantly, the extended magazine mods, to get the most effective results possible. And now, coming at number 3 spot, we have the M4. Now this assault rifle has become a very frequent choice to use in this season 4 update. Especially after the M13 and the Kilo nerf, many players are switching to this mid-tier easy to use assault rifle. On the other hand, the damage fall off above 25 meters has been completely removed, making this weapon a more versatile choice for mid to long range engagements. It has a pretty moderate amount of damage and some great accuracy for the long range engagements. Also, the recoil pattern of this weapon is by far the most optimized one, which makes it easier to control than the weapons like the Kilo and the M13. And for these many reasons, I have placed the M4 above these two assault rifles. Anyways, here are two insane custom gunsmith loadouts of this assault rifle. Both of them are designed for long-range battles, as I have used monolithic suppressor with these builds. And for the mods, I am recommending you to use the long-range mods, the precise shot mods, and the extended magazine mods, to get the most effective results possible. And now, coming at number 2 spot, we have the MAC-10, which is by far the fastest killing close-range weapon inside of the Battle Royale, and the only counter to the Fennec, which I have discussed earlier in this video. Even after receiving the damage range nerf, people still are using the submachine gun. Mainly because, unlike the multiplayer, the range nerf is completely ineffective in the Battle Royale scenario, as most of the players are going to use this weapon only for close-range battles. Same thing happened with the Fennec as well, which is not noticeable at all. Here is the best custom gunsmith loadout for this submachine gun, which is highly optimized for close range battles. It has some insanely high hip fire accuracy, and with a 53 rounds extended magazine, it is currently the most powerful close range weapon in the battle royale. Anyways, for the mods with the MAC-10, I am recommending you to use the hip fire boost mods, the long range mods, and most importantly, the extended magazine mods, to get the most effective results possible. And finally, coming at number 1 spot, we once again have the AK-47, back on the top of the Battle Royale. This is the only high-tier assault rifle, which seems nothing but better and more optimized to use after the Season 4 update. Also, after the certain nerfs to the M13 and the Kilo 141, this weapon has become a more versatile choice for a majority of players. Now I know for a fact that some of my viewers may disagree with the fact that I've put this weapon at this position. But trust me, it's just an opinion on my personal gameplay experience. Some people like this one more, and some people will like the other assault rifles more frequently. It doesn't matter at all. At the end of the day, you are going to use only that weapon, which you are properly comfortable with. But trust me when I say, this is the only long-range assault rifle currently in the battle royale scenario, which has by far the best combination of damage per shot and bullet spread accuracy, and also, the overall recoil management is pretty easy to control as well. Anyways, here are the best custom gunsmith loadouts of this weapon, which are specifically built for the long-range engagements. The first one is designed for my free-to-play audience, and the second one is based on the Mythic variant, which can be perfectly compatible with the Frostbrand skin as well. And, for the mods with the AK-47, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the precise shot mods, and the vertical recoil control mods, with every possible variance of this weapon, and you will get the most effective results possible. And now, as I have promised in the beginning of this video, here are some of my snipers and shotgun loadouts for the Battle Royale. I don't have much decent gameplay with these builds, since I don't use snipers that much. And as for shotguns, I've recently started to use them here and there, but I don't find them more versatile than the submachine guns. Still, you can totally trust me with these gunsmith builds, as I have made these perfectly optimized for the Season 4 Battle Royale. Anyways, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed today's contents. It would be greatly appreciated if you drop a like and share this with your teammates. And if you are new here, then don't forget to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I upload some pretty helpful tips and tricks videos and make some pretty powerful gunsmith loadouts for the battle royale. And trust me, you don't want to miss out any of my custom build. Follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server for exclusive tips and more awesome content. Links are provided in the description. Alright then, have a great day. I'll catch you at the next one, with some high damage assault rifles for the battle royale. Till then, take care. Bulls out.